one of the most important things that's going to help you in the early game of Power World is knowing what pals to pick up early, which ones to avoid, and which ones you really need to get ASAP. Not only are they going to help you in fighting, but they're also going to help you within your base to be give you the most optimal performance when it comes to farming, collecting logs, harvesting, and all that good stuff. So if you want to know what pals to get early, then you came to the right spot because I'm going to tell you guys which ones to get and why. And most importantly, I'm going to show you guys where to actually get them. So let's go and get look at our pal deck and get started. All right, guys. So here we are within our pal deck. All right. So the first thing I want to recommend, guys, is this guy right here called Lamball. Now, Lamball is extremely important to pick up early in the game because he gives you the advantage of doing three things that are going to be fundamental when you start the game. You got the hand work, candy work, you have transporting, and you have farming. So he does three things at once, and you want to get a good amount of Lamballs because they are going to allow you guys to do a lot of things really fast, especially when it comes to the early stages of the game. The next one I want to recommend is Cativa. Now, him in particular, I love him because he is really good for two main things. Number one, he's really good at working, so he does the handy work, which is going to allow you to do stuff, for example, if you need to build the, uh, you know, if you need to build ammo, if you need to build nails, if you need to build uh, ingog, if you need to build uh, anything that you need to do in your workbench, He's able to work on it, okay? So he does transporting, which is really good as well because when you're in the base and someone collects logs, uh, collects cloth, or collects anything that you are, any resources, he's able to move it around the, uh, you know, your little build area and move it to that specific place. And he's good for gathering and mining. Now, the reason why this is important because we don't have this with him, uh, but we do have this with him, is the gathering, like if you're doing fruits and berries, he'll be able to go to the farm Grab those berries and put them in the containers so your um, rest of the pals could actually eat. And of course, the mining is crucial because you're going to need to do a lot of rocks and a lot of stone mining. So when you build your stone platform, he's going to be ready to mine for you guys. So another thing that I love about him and I highly recommend you guys definitely pick him up early is because he is a good fighter as well. Okay, so he's basically the pal that I personally picked up early because it's the one that you find very commonly around the world. Um, and I picked him up because he's a really good fighter. Okay, so you want to make sure you have him not only as your main pal that runs to you in the early stages, but you also want to make sure you have an extra one to put him in the farm. Okay, now moving on to the next one. So the next one is going to be this one called Fox Parks. Now, the reason we like Fox Parks is because he, he is a really good pal but the main reason we want to have him is because in our farm he's going to serve as a really good character because he's very good at kindling and kindling is needed because when you need to do stuff like cooking or doing ignox you're going to need someone to be able to light that flame of that fire to the campfire or to the uh you know the cook pot so you want to make sure you have one of them in your arsenal early in the game so try to pick them up as quickly as you possibly can the next one we want is this one guys quack now i like quack because quack he i like picking characters that do multiple things because when you're starting off you can't have a lot of pals working because as you guys know you're gonna have to level your pal box and when you don't have that many access to a lot of pal slots you're gonna need someone that multitask and i like him because he does handiwork so once again if you're working on a workbench and stuff needs to get done and he's able to go do that he does transporting so if you have stuff that's already you know completed he's able to move it around and he does watering so when you place down your berry farm or when you place down your wheat farm he's going to be able to water that for you guys and he's going to be able to transport the berries as well which makes it really good so these guys are really good for that the next one i really enjoy and I think it's definitely one that you should definitely consider. It's Tansy. Now, Tansy is really good because Tansy is going to allow you to do planting. He's going to do handiwork. So, you know, we're doing that. You know, we, I like to have a handiworker. The majority of them will be handiwork because, you know, when you guys start moving and progressing in the game, the one thing that you're going to notice is that you're going to be crafting a lot of stuff and your workbenches are going to be pretty much working constantly. And the more people that you have handy working in, the better it's going to be because that means there's going to be people working that whenever you go to a dungeon or you go look for more pals, you're going to have someone here in the base that's actually doing something 
So when you get back, it's completed. He does lumbering. Now lumbering is really important because after you get pretty far in your technology and you're able to craft the area where you know you're able to harvest trees, then you're gonna need someone to do the lumbering with you. And he does that as well. He does the transporting, so he's able to gather that uh, you know the lumber he gets and put it inside a box. And he also does gathering, so whenever you're doing berries, he's gonna be available for you guys. The next one I want to recommend is Pinglet. Now Pinglet is really good because he does the watering for you. So as I mentioned before, we had picked uh, the Quack guy, um, and he does really good at that. But the one thing he doesn't do is he doesn't have this cooling thing. Now this cooling thing is important, not so much in the early game, kind of mid game, because depending on where you move, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure your pals stay cool and he's able to actually cool down for you guys. Okay, so those are like the main ones when you think about harvesting. Uh, now let's talk about pals that you wanna pick up early that are really good fighters, okay? So we have Pink King. Now Pink King is someone you can pick up early because he's not only an early boss you're able to fight, so if you wanna pick him up, you're good to pick him up or you could actually find him in the world in the early stages. The great thing about him is that he comes with higher levels. So what you want to notice is if you notice him, he comes with a level one watering, level one handling, uh, cooling, transporting. But with him, you have the advantage of getting a level two. So he's going to be able to do stuff uh, not only in a faster fashion, but he does consume a lot of food. And that's one thing you need to pay attention to because the more food they consume, the less work they're going to do, especially on a smaller base. But I do like him, and I think he's actually pretty solid when it comes to not only defending your base. I like having one of him in the base because when you guys get raided, you're going to want to have some pals that are able to hold their own to protect the lesser pals. Like, for example, uh, you know, Lamb Ball, which is not super good OP when it comes to fighting. Uh, and, you know, apart from him, uh, he's the one he kind of kind of protect the most because he does a lot of, the, you know, heavy lifting. All right. So now that we talked about him. Let's talk about another one that I feel that's really good, which is this one right here, which is a, a dreamer, the dreamer guy. I like him a lot because he has a really good stuff, not so much for working. He's going to be primarily going to be the ability of being able to carry him with you and have an additional pal. So uh, usually you'll find him. Uh, I'll show you guys where you can find each and every one of them, but you'll find him very early in the game and you want to pick him up because he's a really good sidekick to have along with you guys. So not only do you have a pal that you throw with your sphere that you launch in the that you cast out, but you have this additional pal, like an extra buddy to carry around with you. The next one I want to recommend is Rush War. Now the thing with him is he is really good because he will allow you to harvest faster. So the great thing about him is like when you ride him and you build his harness to ride him, you're going to be able to get on top of him. And whenever you're trying to harvest ore or you're trying to harvest rocks, you can just use his dash and his dash will allow you to harvest the rocks instead of you getting out with your pickaxe and doing the harvesting for you. So he's a really good buddy to have to be able to do the harvesting of the rocks and the heavy material so you don't have to get down and actually do it. In addition to that, he is a pretty OP character. And one thing I like about him is if whenever you're like playing the game and for some reason you're running really low on rocks, you could just put him in your base and all he does is he has one active ability and all he's going to be doing is mining. So if you are struggling with getting a lot of rocks, you want to look for pals that only have one, you know, one item that they're work on and just put him there to mine and that's all he's going to do. He's not going to get distracted by doing anything else. He could just be focusing on that mining aspect. Okay. The other one I want to recommend, let's see where he's at. So I want to recommend a couple of these, and these are going to be primarily uh, based on if you don't have these items. So for example, the deer how this one right here, I like him because you're able to ride him and he only has one job ability, which is gathering. So you can theoretically just put him on your base to gather. But the reason I like him is because he's a really good one for transportation and he has some really good abilities when it comes to fighting. You're able to find him early in the game. The next one is this guy, uh, Celeray. Now, the reason I like him is because he gives you a really good form of transportation without you needing to spend points or spend materials in the glider. With him, if you unlock the saddle that allows you to glide with him, he's going to give you a glider without you having a glider in your inventory. Now, it's always recommended to have a glider in inventory so because unless you're going to have to run him as a pal, but he's a really good character in case you don't want to build a glider and want to have someone with a glider. So 
that is the ones I recommend as far as like the general aspect. Now let's look into the fighting ones. So there's a couple ones that I'm going to highly highlight right here, which you're able to get early. And they're very, very good fighters. Okay, so let's start off with him, the Nightwing. Now, the reason I like Nightwing is because I believe he's definitely one of the first early characters that are going to give you a huge advantage in the game because he gives you the advantage of not only being OP when it comes to fighting, but he also gives you the chance of being able to be a really good gatherer without getting stuck. Now, if you guys have been playing the game or when you guys start playing the game, you're going to notice that one thing that happens with the pals, they tend to get stuck when it comes to gathering or they don't get to the position where they're at. If you actually put Nightwing to work on the farm just a little bit, he'll be able to gather everything and just kind of find around and put it in the right place. But the reason I like him is because he's able to hold his own in the battlefield. And in addition to that, he'll let you mount him to fly around in the world, which gives you a really good way to explore the world and also fight in it. So highly recommend you put him on your list. The next one we have, it's Insert Ram. Now him, I like him a lot. The reason I like him is because he is really, really good to have in the uh, in your farm and also carry along with you. The reason is because he actually works at night, okay? He works during the day, but he still works at night. So he doesn't really go to sleep that much because he's working at night. So when it comes to kindling, which is like making food, making berries, when your pals go to bed, he's still working. So he gets the jobs done. Not only that, but he's level two in handling, level two in transportation which is really good and he does mining he does mining really really effective now the other one i recommend guys is dinosaur now the reason i love i love him is because he does only two things when it comes to the farms and he is good for multiple reasons and i highly recommend if you guys don't have one of them working for you you definitely need to get one of them the reason is he's a level two on planting level two on lumbering and the reason i love him is he's so good at defending your base so if you're getting raided, he's going to put in the work for you. Okay. He's going to protect the ones that are, aren't able to protect themselves. And he's going to be able to do a lot, a lot of damage. And that's the reason I like him. Uh, he doesn't consume a lot of food if you base it on the other big, you know, big, big uh, pals. But he is really good at the working at the farm, protecting the farm. And he's a really good pal to carry with you as a fighter. Okay. So you definitely want to make sure you have one of them in your inventory. All right, so the last one I want to recommend is the deer. Now, the deer, I, I put him last because he's very difficult to catch, and you're probably going to need to be, like, a higher level when it comes to catching him. Uh, he runs really fast. He has some really good abilities. I prefer the other ones to ride the other characters, not him. He just looks really cool riding, but I feel like the other ones are more beneficial because his casting uh, spell uh, is uh, takes a very long time to recharge. I mean, compared to the other ones. But I do like him as a character because he is a level 2 lumber. So when it comes to collecting wood, you can just drop him in your farm and he'll collect the wood for you guys. And in addition to that, he doesn't consume a lot of food. But he's also a really good character to have when it comes to not only fighting or casting out, but not so much for riding. But I still think he's a really good early character. Now to show you guys the locations of each of the ones I mentioned so you guys can know exactly uh, where to find him. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with him. And if you go to the habitat and this is the map exactly where you'll be able to find him he's almost everywhere in the map or he's at the early stages so let's start off with uh, lamb lamb ball which i'm pretty sure you're going to find really fast uh, uh Cadaver, which you're going to be finding really fast in the game as well the uh lift monk this one right here he's going to be located right here and we also have the duck the duck is going to be located very early in the game too mostly as soon as you start making your way to the tower tansy which i love it's going to be located in this main area, which is definitely one of my favorite areas. He's, he's always there, dude. He's always there. So let me zoom in on this on this one. So you guys know exactly where he's at. Not him, not Roby, but uh, where is he? Hold on. Let's find him. Okay, Celery. You're gonna be, he's going to be located right here. You're going to find him in the water. So as soon as you get to the water portion of the world, you'll be able to find him right there. The deer howl is going to be located a little bit further into the kind of like the yellow area right here and the red area. That's where you're going to find him closely. And let's go for... Did I check? Did I show you guys? Oh, yeah. The Fox Park, I did show you guys, right? He's going to be located kind of early in the game as well. And the other one I went ahead and mentioned, so you can see right here, is going to be... Yeah, the Nightwing. Nightwing's going to be very early in the game. He's kind of hard to get. This is going to be one of like the difficult ones to get because 
he he's he's in the air, so he's flying around a lot. So he's gonna be located right here, uh, in uh, Instagram, which is right here. So him in general, he's located further out right here. But I'm gonna give you a spot where you can get him, and I don't know why he's not marked in the map. All right, so for him, let me show you guys exactly in the map. So basically, what you want to do, guys, uh, he's not showing where where he's located. You guys see it starts further back. But where you're going to be able to find him is you're going to find him in this area. You see this bridge part right here? So you're going to go across the bridge and then you're going to make a left down this, this pathway. And in this area right here, I'm going to actually put a marker for you guys so you guys can see exactly where it's at. If you put a marker right there, he's going to be located right there. He's going to be fighting against some people and that's where you're able to pick him up. Now you just got to be careful uh, to don't kill him. Just make sure you grab him uh, when you, you know, when you guys are fighting for him. So that way you guys know exactly where he's at. And that's how you get him early, okay? So just make sure you keep an uh, you keep an eye out for that one. And then we have the less punk. This one, guys, I actually got him when he invaded my base, and he is going to be pretty much located in the far back. So if you wait for to get invaded, you're going to be able to pick one of him up. And um, the dinosaur, this one's really early in the game. You're able to pick this up as soon as you start. They're going to be roaming around. They're are high, high level, so you're probably going to be a little bit need to be a little bit high level than that one. All right, so the next one you want to make sure you guys pick up is this one, guys, called uh, Pen King. Now, the secret of picking up Pen King is the following. You're going to want to make sure you do the boss battle. And when you do the boss battle, you're going to be able to get him. So where exactly is the boss battle? Let me pull up the map. So you guys know exactly where that's at. That's going to be located right here. So you're going to want to make sure you do this boss battle right here. And um, once you do it, you're going to want to make sure you get him and you use your, you know, your, your sphere. To pick him up so you guys can have him in your arsenal and these are the characters i personally recommend that are the best pals to have early stages not only are they going to help you with your base they're going to help you with protecting your base and they're really good pals to have to fight alongside with you and of course i will have a video with the you know kind of the best pals to have towards the end game so you guys can know what to look for and what to collect but you also want to check out this video right here which is going to help you level up you guys can reach those saddles and those items to help you ride your characters, help you transport yourself with the characters, and just get to the highest level as you possibly can. So check out that video that's popping up right there on the screen. I hope you guys are enjoying our Pal World content. If you are, do the huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.